Hi guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital. And in this video, I just wanna show you how to fix this invalid GTIN error in the Merchant Center if you're using Shopify, sorry, or the Simprosis app on a different website platform. So firstly, the cause for this is for whatever reason, as the name suggests, your GTIN value is invalid. So you'll need to either ensure that that GTIN value is correct um, and, and links correctly between the website and the merchant center, or you can simply, the easiest way to do this, to resolve this error and get this product approved is to simply remove the GTIN value from getting pushed into the merchant center. And that'll obviously get that error removed for you. So to do that, um, if you're using the Simprosis app, so go over to Shopify, go to apps, and then find the Simprosis for, or Simprosis Google Shopping feed app, this is the app that we always recommend clients use just because it's so easy to use. So from here, once you get into the app, go to manage products. And then from here, the easiest way to find those products with the errors, um, either you can you know, view examples in the merchant center and then directly correlate those item IDs. But with some process, it's actually super easy. So if you go into filter products, um, select your filter and go to error from merchant center, then you can select uh, the error from the merchant center that you want to essentially analyze. So as you can see at the moment, we only have one um, one error from the merchant center, which is invalid GTIN. So if you have multiple errors here, um, those errors will sync through into the section. So you'll be able to choose from, you know, multiple different errors in this dropdown. Obviously, this is the area that we want to work with. So just click on that and then add filter. And then from here, as you can see, these are the products that have this error. So what we want to do is remove the GTIN from getting submitted into the merchant center. So to do that, um, again, this is why we recommend some process purely for these, these shortcuts. So highlight those products, do edits in bulk, and then scroll down to change identifiers submission controls. So essentially what this does is it allows you to control what gets pushed into the merchant center. So you can either submit the brand name, uh, the SKU value and the GTIN value, or you can just submit the brand name and the SKU value, or you can submit the product as a custom product, which I believe will only um, push through the name of the product and won't push through the brand MPN or the GTIN value. So in this case, we just want to submit the brand name and the MPN or SKU, sorry, or the SKU value. Um, and we don't want to submit the GTIN value. So we'll hit that setting there and then apply in bulk. And as you can see here, now it's resubmitting these into the merchant center without the GTIN value. And I have fixed this error multiple times in the past. So that will resolve these four um, invalid GTIN errors. Then just for reference, if you're not using the some process app and you on Shopify, um, the way to resolve these errors is to essentially do the same process manually. So I've got a client here that doesn't use the some process app. So what you'll need to do is go into Shopify, go into sales channels, then select Google and YouTube, which if you're not using the some process app, I'm assuming you'd be using the normal Google sales channel. This is obviously a free integration between Shopify and the merchant center. Then from here, uh, you'll need to go into this top section here, the product status section, hit manage products, and that'll open up a, a dashboard for you in just a second. Okay, so once that's loaded, um, we'll need to stop or manually stop submitting the GTIN value into the merchant center. Now, how we do that is, as you can see here, for example, this product here, um, that's its GTIN value there. Um, and as you can see here, custom product is set to false. Now, if we change this to true, it'll stop submitting the GTIN value into the merchant center. And I just wanna um, go through the logic behind why that's the case. So essentially you ask yourself the question, is this product a custom product? Um, you know, is it a one of a kind custom product? False, so no, it's not a one of a kind custom product. Therefore, it should have a GTIN value. Um, and so when you set that to false, it'll automatically pull that GTIN value into the merchant center. Then let's say, for example, you ask yourself, is this product a custom made product? Um, true, it is a custom made product, therefore it doesn't have a GTIN value. 
um, and therefore the merchant center won't pull this GTIN or the, the Shopify won't push this GTIN value into the merchant center. So that's just a little bit of logic there. Um, so obviously I'm gonna leave that as false. I don't wanna make any changes here, but that's how you do that uh, through the Google sales channel specifically to solve the same error. So that was it, hopefully that was a help. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.